There's yeah. a deeper level of animosity clearly being expressed yes. towards federal investment in science Correct. that I think is profoundly short-sighted right. and ignores the wild benefits that have come from, again, this very brief, in one person's lifetime, the United States went from not funding science barely at all to having, you know, winning most Nobel Prizes in science, right? That all started again and started in the late 1940s. It was 1950 when the National Science Foundation was created. It all came from this a, a report by this guy, Vannevar Bush, the president of MIT, to Franklin Roosevelt, saying, we won World War II because of science. He called science the, the endless frontier. Sci we need to do this fundamental stuff that, that markets and private individuals cannot do. And Congress is to promote the progress of science. Mm -hmm. And useful arts and since useful 1787. Arts. Well, again, it's so you're you're destroying the fundamental research base of the entire country, right? And and you know through this broader attack, I'd say on universities and academia, we are undermining like the very this kind of like powerful engine of insight discovery and economic growth that we've created. In this so country.